Musk teased the prospect of an edit button yesterday after the news broke and after people were relentlessly <laughs> tweeting at him demanding one. And he polled users on the issue. Twitter CEO says the poll is important and urged people to vote carefully. Our colleague, The Hill's Julia Manchester and Senior Director of Policy at the Conservative Partnership Institute, Rachel Bovard, join us now to discuss. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Good morning. So, Rachel, I'll start with you. Um, is this the best news or the best news ever? <laughs> I'm kidding, but it's so <laughs> exciting. It's so interesting. What Anything yes. could happen now. It is interesting. And as of this morning, Elon Musk is on the board of Twitter. So he is not just uh, an activist shareholder now. He is a member of the board. So things are about to get even more interesting, I think, for Twitter uh, and what Elon Musk brings to the table, which I think is anyone's guess at this point. Um, mm -hmm. If you've watched Elon Musk, you know how mercurial he tends to be. Uh, and so I'm not sure anyone knows exactly what he has planned uh, or what he's planning for Twitter or his next venture of which this could be a part. Um, so I think it will be pretty interesting to watch this play out because now that he's on the board, he's too big a fish, I think, mm -hmm. to just sit there and take his lumps. Well, and Rachel, is this a, a solution to the big tech problem that you and I can actually agree on? That, you know, we, we've <laughs> disagreed on you know, what regulation or legislation or breaking them up or antitrust we would support to deal with what I do think and agree with you on are real threats to free speech on the platform. OK, what about a, a private citizen buys up the company who wants to you know, do what he can to push it in a more free speech friendly direction? Can't hurt, right? It can't. And I think this possibly could solve a lot of problems with Twitter, depending on what Elon Musk demands and receives. Um, you know, of course, he's going to have to, I think, work with the other board members. Uh, allegedly, he and Jack Dorsey, who's also on the board, are friendly and both want to push more in a free speech direction, although I'm not sure how seriously to take that from Jack Dorsey. But he's got, you know, hedge fund investors. He's got a former Google exec on the board who I th think is probably terrible on the issue of free speech. So we'll see. But I think on the broader issue, I, I have seen some takes this morning that are like, oh, the market is working. Well, yes, if we can all just become the richest man in the world and buy it by <laughs> the largest share of Twitter, maybe we can solve our problems. But I agree with you. Like this could end up being a very good thing for the state of free speech on Twitter, which, as you know, you and I have discussed, controls sort of the narrative arc of the news in this country.